Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire and run us through the unique 10mm pistol known as the Deliverer. But for the sake of this video we're gonna go full fucking Aussie and call it the Deliverer. Now to get this weapon, first of all you need to encounter the Railroad. The faction that is. Now you can either get the Road to Freedom, a quest that's picked up pretty much in any major city in the game, in which you follow the Freedom Trail I do believe it's called, until it leads you to the railroad, or you can just come to this location, Old North Church, which on the Pipway map is found to the northeast of Diamond City, or just southeast of Bunker Hill. So go inside the building, just a warning, you will be fighting a couple of ghouls, so come prepared for a fight with them, but if you head downstairs into the basement, eventually through the catacombs, you will find this wired spinning letter plate. What we need to do here is spin the letters around until we hit R, then hit the center plate, and continue spinning the letters and hit the center plate until you spell out railroad. R A I L R O A D. Once you have spelt it out, this secret door will open, you head through, and for the first time, you encounter the railroad. Now, this is quite a long chat, so let's cut to the end of the chat in which Deacon will come up to us and offer us some work. And while doing so, without even saying yes or no, we will get the next quest called Tradecraft. But speaking of yes or no, you do want to say that you want to take the job and help Deacon out. This is key to getting the deliverer. Now, Tradecraft is a pretty long quest and it's also pretty fun, but let's skip straight. Straight to the end. On the final stage, when we open this vault on the floor, we will find the body of Tommy Whispers. Deacon will inspect the body, say that he found his gun, and then Deacon will offer you the gun. Now, when he offers the gun, you must accept the gun. You can get it some other ways, but let's be super safe and just say, yes, please, give me the gun. So, as always, before money get out and looking at the weapon space stats, I have reduced all my character special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Now in the first mod slot, we want to go with the advanced receiver. This increases the damage by 75%, increases the fire rate by 50%, and reduces VATS cost by 10%. In the next modification slot, we're going to add the extended barrel. This increases minimum range by 5 times, and increases maximum range by 9 times. It also reduces sight spread by 10%, reduces recoil by 10%, and reduces VATS cost by 10%. Next up, we're going to be adding the sharpshooter's grip. This reduces spread by 15%, reduces recoil by 15%, 15%, reduces VATS cost by 15%, and increases bash damage by 50%. Next up, of course, the only option we should ever choose, the large quick eject mag. This increases the magazine size to 16, reduces reload time by 20%, and increases sight time by 3%. Next, we're going to be going with the glow sights, which are a glowing example of only one modification choice. This adds one time zoom, reduces sight spread by 10%, reduces VATS cost by 7.5%, and reduces sight time by 5%. And finally, we're going to be going with the suppressor, which it probably already came with. This makes the weapon suppressed, reduces minimum range by 1.25 times, reduces max range by 2.5 times, and reduces recoil by 25%. Now, you could take this off if you want, but I find it being suppressed really fits the weapon. So once the Deliverer has been modded out the way I just did, it has a base ballistic damage of 43, it uses the 10mm rounds as ammunition, it has a fire rate of 99, its range is 89, its accuracy is 71, its weight is 6.9 pounds, and its value is 979 caps. And as we can see up the top, the Deliverer, plus 33% VATS accuracy and reduces VATS cost by 25%. So the Deliverer, it is one of very few unique weapons in Fallout 4, in the fact that it's actually unique, it's got a unique name, and it's got a unique skin, and the modifications applied to it are not the same as a standard 10mm pistol. Although its legendary effect is not unique, so I suppose it's not really truly unique. But unfortunately at this point, we're gonna take what we can get, right? So the Deliverer is actually a pre-war semi-automatic handgun. It has an exposed hammer and double action trigger mechanism, and the barrel also acts as a guide rod for the recoil spring. It also has a smaller size, a shorter grip, and reduced magazine capacity in comparison to other 10mm pistols. But the history of the Deliverer is that one of these pre-war handguns was found and restored by Tinker Tom from the railroad. It was given to the agent Tommy Whispers. And during the quest Tradecraft, when you find Tommy Whispers' body, on his body is still the Deliverer, his signature weapon. And although it still uses the same ammunition as a 10mm pistol, the Deliverer outperforms comparably modified 10mm pistols in damage, fire rate, and slightly higher accuracy rating. Sadly, it carries less rounds in the magazine. 
Provided you keep the suppressor on it, this combined with the low weight and its minimal recoil makes the Deliverer an excellent sidearm for stealth attack builds. It might not be the weapon you want to use at all times, for example you probably want to use a different weapon for really long range sneak shots, but any sneaky urban activities you're going to get up to, the Deliverer should be your go-to gun. Now let's talk about it in actual use. First of all, when I applied all of the appropriate mods to increase the damage of the Deliverer, I got its damage up to 123 ballistic damage. Now that's per bullet, we've got a magazine size of 16 and a fire rate of 99, which on a semi-automatic pistol is really, really crazy. You can empty that entire clip very, very quickly. If you have the maxed out ninja perk, your sneak attacks are going to be doing 3.5 times damage, so each bullet that hits while you're sneaking will do 430 damage. Now you can empty all 16 bullets in 2-3 to three seconds, and because it's suppressed you're likely to stay hidden from enemies. So just for theory's sake, let's say all 16 bullets are sneak shots, you're going to do 6,888 damage to the enemy that you hit all 16 bullets with, provided you stay sneaked. Now that's pretty crazy, and especially considering it's using 10mm bullets, which aren't exactly something rare, again the weapon only weighs 6.9 pounds when fully modded out. The more and more you learn about this gun, the more and more you'll fall in love with it. It also reloads quite quickly, and it really is the ultimate choice for sneaking through buildings and taking enemies out one by one. If you want to take a whole group of enemies out, I would suggest using a different weapon, but seriously for any like 007 builds you want to do, or any kind of playstyle like that, this is the guy for you. It's sexy all round. And speaking of 007 and sexy, listen to the sound it makes. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks of GoldenEye on Nintendo 64. Not only is it perfect for your 007 build, but also perfect for your Postman build. Delivering packages like nobody's business. Now its legendary effect of increases VAT's accuracy by 35% and reduces VAT's cost by 25%, that's awesome. It's relatively cheap in the first place because it's a small gun with a small ammunition size. Then to reduce that even more and then increase the accuracy, damn son. So inside of VAT's you can actually do some pretty long range headshots. And I must say, even outside of VATS, if you're aiming downside, it's pretty damn accurate. I hardly noticed any spread at quite long distances. So although it may not be specifically built for those kind of long range shots, you can still do them. If, of course, you have the eye for it. So all in all, the Deliverer is an amazing choice of weapon for your stealth characters. Even if you don't plan on sneaking that much, it's still a pretty damn good weapon. It's also cool because it's actually uniquely skinned and a completely different suit of mods. By the way, unattached mods from the standard 10mm pistol cannot be applied to the Deliverer. But I do think that this gun should be a comedian, after all its delivery is perfect. Just like the doctor that pulls out babies, this can help you through childbirth. After all, it is the deliverer. This gun is also an undead dinosaur, a deliverer. And here it is, the deliverer in action. <laughs>
have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Cabal, and this has been my weapon guide for the unique 10mm pistol variation known as the Deliverer. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way, and also in understanding how incredibly powerful this pistol is. If it did help you out, I think you would be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, or you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you're a fan of undead dinosaurs, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can also be found in the description or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure delivering with you and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.